Three, two, one. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor from RazorTube. Coming at you with another base build video today, and this is for the Rust Council Edition. And this is the best solo duo trio stability bunker boathouse base design for 2021. Now, this base build in general is geared toward our solo audience. And let me tell you, it is awesome. Duos can use it. Trios can use it. And what I use it in game for is usually when I got to go on some scrap runs and I need to be safe instead of getting raided or murked right before I get to my base if I live next to a road. Instead of farming scrap with hitting barrels on land, you're going to be doing it on water. And this is what this base is for. It's also good for boat storage. Now, do note that any boat that's under any roof inside of Rust Council Edition, if it has a roof over it, it won't decay at all. But if it doesn't, it'll eventually decay and break. This base stops it from happening, and you can store it safely inside this stability bunker uh, boathouse. So let's get to the build. I'll show you how to do it. And let's, let's go. Drop that sub and like, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so in order to build this uh, stability bunker boathouse, this is what you're going to have to do. You're first going to start with a triangle foundation. Now, in order to measure the water and where you put the foundation, I'm going to show you how to do that because placement is super important when you're doing this base. Now, what you do, go out into the water a little bit, get the foundation and raise it all the way up gauge where halfway up the foundation is on this triangle one and then bring the foundation halfway into the water just like this once you place that go ahead and put it down once you know the placement is correct go ahead and make that stone then you're going to make a two by two so well it's more or less it is a two by two what am i saying all right, put down some square foundations, two even with the triangle foundation here, and then you want to put two in the water, like so. Once you got that down, go ahead and make that stone. Perfect, it's all come together. Go to the triangle, put some hard walls in, or full ones rather, make them stone, put your triangle ceiling tile in just like this. And then it's up to you. If you want to put a double doorway frame in, that's perfectly fine. I like using the reinforced glass when I get the BP. So that's what I'm going to do. So in order to do that, just place your TC down. Go ahead and put your window frame in. Make that stone as well. And then put in your glass. All right, so now you should have something that looks like this. Once you got that down, you're going to go to the square tile that's completely away from your TC. And then you're going to put down a triangle foundation. Once you put that down, put a raised one on the right and left. Make that stone. This is going to be your bunker entrance, okay, to your boathouse. And then fill in the gaps. So what I like to do at this part is... I always like to make a little platform on the side for lockers to go in. So put a triangle foundation right next to your TC foundation, just like that. Once that's complete, go ahead and fill in all your walls. And stone those. Now you've noticed that, that I left an opening over here, and that's because that's where I'm, I'm going to park my boat. So what's going to happen is I'll put a double doorway frame here, make that stone, and then I'm going to put up some half walls as well to make sure that all the walls are even. So now that I got this down, and this will be super useful when power surge comes out because you'll be able to have a motion sensor outside your base when you come up on a boat, your doors will open automatically and they'll come in. Now. What we got to do is finish one of our loot rooms. In between, you'll notice that you put your boat down here, and this will be your loot room on the left. Go ahead and put one solid wall, 
make that stone as well. Hard side pointing out. And then you want to start to build the uh, front of your bunker. What that requires is, is one half wall twig here, another one on top of it, stone the top, knock out the bottom. Now you want to have an airlock. This is what I would do because we have the front uh, entrance of the bunker here. I would go ahead and put some double doorway frames in the front, make them stone, and then put some single doorway frames on the left and right. Once you stone those and that's accomplished, go ahead and put in your ceiling. And I'll show you how my uh, bunker boathouse is uh, made as well after this. And then we're going to put in some shop fronts. That stops our pesky door campers. And then we'll put in our single doors. Now it is optional if you want to actually put in some more double doorway frames here just to stop door campers from going deep. I like to do that, so I'm gonna make those stone. And then put in my garage doors or my double sheet metal doors. Now that this is accomplished, we notice that there is one more half hole that needs to be fit filled in. Well, when I what I like to do is make a pancake layer on top of this base. What that means is, is there's a hidden loot room in the top and it stops top down rating a lot. So I like to jump on top of the frame, put in my half wall, hard side out, and this is where I'll start to build my pancake layer. Now I'll give you a top down view so far of what we got. I'll go to the other side as well. And you're starting to see the base come to fruition now. All right, so another thing to note, if you have the letter hatch frame, this is a good base to have it in. The reason why is if people breach your bunker uh, ceiling tile, you can definitely use the ladder to block them from raiding you further. And it counts as like a little shooting wall while you're inside your base, and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so what we want to do now is put in all our ceiling tiles. We'll fill in the two by two and then the triangle. Now you notice that we have this pancake layer. Now you could either put the ladder hatch up to the top floor here to have a secret loot room for more loot storage, especially if you're a solo, or you can make it hard just like this. So if you're gonna leave the ceilings hard, that's what it'll look like from the top. Now, say you have the ladder hatch. You would bust this out and you'd have a floor frame here. You'd go ahead and make that stone. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and put your ladder hatch down. Now that it's down, this would block anybody from coming in. If you put a deployable on the left and right, you could definitely stop raiders from blowing in further into your base just for a little bit of time. So let's finish the top and I'll show you that later. Once the top is finished and you got your ladder hatch in or it's solid, this is what you're gonna do. Take some half falls and go around the rest of the top of the ceiling, like so. I like to fill in every gap I can. And then go ahead and stone it off. Now that I got this stoned off, I can go ahead and put in my ceiling tiles. So I'll fill in the two by two first. And then my triangles. All right, and that is my stability bunker boathouse. Now, in the inside, what I'd like you to do is put some double doorway frames down, like this. And what you do is basically make them stone, 
and it gives raiders a little bit more of a couple layers to go through in order to get to your TC. Now the good thing about this base is it's small, it's cheap. If you look in the TC itself, it's actually like pretty dirt cheap to make. It's a 1700, well I'd say 1800 stone and about 400 metal fragments. So something to look forward to as a solo. Now once you complete this, make sure you put the door on for where your boat goes and then it's smooth sailing from there. Now what you can do as well is if you do build this to where the water is not coming in but it's like on the lip of this foundation, you could always just push your boat in. So, I mean, it's up to you and if you mess up the placement of it, it doesn't matter. We can push this boat in though. And you'll see exactly how this is done. Watch. I mean, it's going to take you a while, but jeez. But you get the point. It's going to go, it's going to fit inside there. You'll be able to store stuff in there. And you'll, you won't have a problem with, like, most, uh, you know, mobility at all. There we go. Even if it gets stuck or anything on the foundation, you can just shove it in. And there you go. There you have it. Your boat's in there. You're good to go. So let me show you how mine is outfitted. We'll fly over there right now. So let's start from the front. Usually the foundations in the front are pretty high. So what you're going to need to do is place a twig triangle foundation to jump up. Now, if people are trying to go deep on you all the time, what you can do is shoot that out. And they can't jump in. So the front of my bunker looks like this. I drop in. And I have two large boxes, two small boxes, and then I have my workbench in the back covering my TC window. Kind of to disguise it, just in case a, you know, a raider's walking through and he, he just misses it per chance. But I can take this window out, and I can access my TC right through my workbench. So there's that. That being said... We'll go through the rest of the base, and I'll show you exactly how much storage is in it. It has a ton of storage, but check this out. You can put a locker there at the end in the triangle in order to save some kits. So when you go out on a boat, you're already loaded and ready to go. And then you can put two overhanging large boxes on the top of this makeshift shelf above the boat. So when you come in and you want to drop off loot, you drop it in, then you take the boat back out. Now, for the good part and the juicy part... You can put your sleeping bags here, and then you have two furnaces on the left against the wall. So, at the top, what I like to do is have large boxes in a row. I have four large boxes that are saved up here, and here's the kicker. If you noticed on the left, I have a whole other square, okay? This is kind of blocked off right now. If I take a pick or a jackhammer, knock that out, I can walk this way. On the left, I have two other loot boxes that are hidden away from these ones. So when said raider gets up into the ladder hatch and sees these four, if you have a half ball here, the soft side towards the boxes, they can't get back here to this loot. If you put locks on it, they won't be able to get into it either. They'll have to shoot it and break it. Also, there's another hidden loot storage here. Most likely, any raider that comes through the top here is not going to know to knock this wall out. They'll just get go through the boxes, and they won't know that you have loot stored in here. Now, with that being said, and speaking of raiding, this is something else you could do. If you have people breach your airlock, your you know two doors that you have... You, if they bust through the doors and then all of a sudden through your bunker entrance, what you can do is, and you know it's coming, you can basically put another furnace right here on the right and then open your ladder hatch. Once that happens, they cannot get in the base. All the deployables are in the way. The ladder hatch is blocking them. They cannot get in. The bad part about this is they might be able to shoot your bags, which that would suck. If you want, you could take this shelf and lower it down one more. 
I got a boat there, but I can't show you now. But you can lower it on that level so the front of the boat goes underneath there. So you can put more bags down there just in case. Okay? And then what you could do is if you get, like, people coming in, you can use the deployables for cover, and you could shoot through the crack at their feet because they have to duck down and in. Now, you could put shotgun traps at the bottom of here, but I wouldn't recommend it only because if you're in the vicinity and you jump in front of it on accident to go get their loot and one of them jumps in behind the guy that just died, you might have an issue and the shotgun trap will take you out. So, with that being said, this is the Stability Bunker Boathouse. And I hope you like it. And this is for solo duos and trios. Mostly solos because, you know what, they, they need the base and they need an advantage too. But this is easy for scrap, getting scrap. This is uh, definitely a safe way to have a base and being able to be mobile fast with a boat. And that's it. And this is what it looks like with the finished product. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub and a like. I hope you like this Stability Bunker Boathouse. I love it. I'm going to use it all the time. All right. With that being said, bye.